Hey everyone and welcome to Storytime. My name is Jake and today we are going to be looking at the subreddit r slash tales from tech support, where people who work in IT tell us their best and craziest stories they have on the job. If you're new around here, please do hit subscribe down below so that you never miss out on another video. But for now, let's sit back, relax and enjoy some Reddit stories. Instead of laying off a quarter of my staff, how about I audit the IT expenses and save the company 24 million a year? This one is two weeks in the making. I was instructed to reduce spending in IT by X amount before the end of the year. The company as a whole needed to cut 3 million in spending by the end of the fiscal year because reasons. I was specifically handed a list of potentials as a recommendation to cut. First thing I did was collected all of those people and gave them two lists. The number of phone line accounts versus the number of employees, and the number of fax accounts that are inactive. For two weeks, those men and women worked hard. They scoured AD, the horrible phone website, and verifying the fax accounts. They found over 12,000 phone accounts that cost $22.95 each, that belonged to termed users but are still active. We did an audit on the fax system by determining who was not received or sent a fax in six months. We found over 37,000 accounts inactive. Of those, 9,000 had never logged in, 12,000 were termed users, and nearly everyone else had set up their e-fax and never used it. The rest were people who rarely faxed as a backup. They wanted their accounts to stay. So 35 and a half thousand accounts at $19.50 each a month we were spending. I just did the maths and that's $692,250. So far, we were a little under 1 million a month being spent on useless things. I started to go through vendor programs, A to G, looking for similar instances. These included programs like snipping tool like program, password manager, a couple of CRM programs, and a stock program that a couple hundred employees literally never used. After that was done, I worked with the server dudes for two days, getting these accounts directly associated with our AD accounts. Every single user now had creds associated with AD. Now, when a user is listed as a term for seven days, it terminates said accounts at the end of the current billing cycle. As a side effect, I just accidentally an SSO. All in all, I saved the company over $2 million a month. Today came with the promise of an all-corp supervisor meeting and the BS that that entails. It would take too much time to list out which departments is with whose character, so all lines will begin with sales or HR. The CEO says, I am very glad all of you are here. As you know, end of fiscal year is approaching and we must trim the fat, so to speak, for year-end financials and the IRS. He goes on like this for 20 minutes and then has everyone go around the table. We aren't supposed to say things like, we terminated X number of users, but instead say things like, we reduced salary cost by X percent. Accounting said, our department was able to reduce financial responsibility, in particular salary, by 12%, saving the company 80,000 a year. Okay, very good. Marketing? We reduced financial responsibility by 45%. However, only 1% of that was a salary. The rest was from programs we had used in the past but had stopped using. We were still paying for them though. Which programs were those so I can mark them down? Marketing lists Windows GFX programs they stopped using when they switched to Mac. Plus a stock program from when former head of marketing ran the place. She mentioned the stock program I had removed the one we were paying for in IT, not marketing. I let it slide. If anyone else has terminated a program, let me know please and I will take care of anything that needs to be taken care of on my end. Two more departments tried to claim credit for my auditing work, when it finally came to my time though. Well, we are just about out of time. IT, I'm sorry, but... Mr. CEO, I'm sorry to interrupt, but there is information in my report which is not only vital to this meeting, but will have major implications on everyone in this room and the company. 
Okay, proceed. As supervisor over the IT support area, I have increased the salary responsibility by 20% as a way to save money. Come again? Using the list of suggested layoffs from HR, I gathered those exact people for a team to audit all cost incurring systems that are utilized by our company, IT. How does more employees save? Me, interrupting him, using this audit, we have determined that there are over 100,000 accounts belonging to various programs, services, and paid software. These accounts either belong to termed employees, people who did not even know they had the account, people who did not use the accounts ever, or people who simply changed computer systems. In fact, vendor system A, B, and C were not being paid for by marketing, accounting, and sales, respectively. Those costs were incurred by IT. I hand out the leaflets showing the money came from the IT budget. So, what does all this mean? We have tied every single vendor account, cost incurring service, and basically every single system that we pay per employee to that employee's AD account. This effectively creates an SSO for our users. On top of that, it increases immediate savings of 2.3 million, with accounts terminated for terminated users. Accounts terminated that were literally never used, and accounts terminated for programs discarded. Ooh, 2.3 million, that's what I like to hear. Me, a month. Yes, I dramatically revealed that 2.3 million was not annual, it was monthly. So, let me get this straight. We all here as a company have been wasting 24 million a year on things no one used? Terminated employees and discarded programs? Yes. However, with the addition of tying all accounts to the AD credentials, we have effectively stopped this from happening in the future. Why was this allowed to happen? Your predecessor created this storm and we, as a company, inherited it. I never had the urge to look into these issues as they are not directly IT related issues. I just refuse to fire my guys for no reason other than to save money. No IT employees are lost in this. In fact, we gain two. These two are a part of the team in charge of all the vendor accounts. They will approve, deny, create, change, and manage all vendor accounts. What will this team be called? Um, vendor accounts? I am still hung up on these accounts. How is it that they were allowed to accumulate like that? The former chief information officer set up these accounts for other departments, but set the cost to go to IT. No one looked into it for IT, because why would we? These are not IT problems, they are our company programs. If you want to blame someone, blame the former CIO. No one in the room knew some of these accounts existed until I had the urge to look them up. There was a long pause. Look at it this way, now we have an extra 24 million to spend on expansion of the company. Imagine being that big of a company that you don't actually realise that 24 million is kind of like just gone under the radar. <laughs> that must be huge. The moment that elevated mum from user to admin. Like most of you here, I too have parents who are largely tech illiterate. But over the last two years, I've been making a conscious effort to get my parents, especially mum, to understand computers better. I'm a big believer of the old, give a man a fish and you'll feed him for a day, teach him how to fish and he can have food for life, mentality. So rather than showing my mum how to resolve her every problem, we go through the process of, what do you think is wrong? And how are you going to solve it? Now, admittedly, things do get incredibly frustrating in this process, and it can often take half an hour up to one hour to resolve issues, but it has slowly been working. So, today, mum came to me with a problem, and as usual, seemed to blow it way out of proportion. My phone is broken. What do you mean? The camera doesn't work. What do you mean exactly? When I go to the camera app, it says, connection cannot be established. So, have you tried anything to resolve it? Insert smirky face. I turned it off and on again, but that didn't work. Uh-huh. So then I booted the phone into recovery mode. Cue disbelief. And then I wiped the cache partition. 
sustained disbelief. But when I rebooted the phone, it still didn't work, so I thought the problem might be larger than that. I pause. So I went onto several forums, and a lot of other people describing similar problems said it turned out to be a hardware fault. How the hell did you know how to do that? I googled it. Q jaw drop. So, I guess your phone is broken. Yeah, that's what I told you in the beginning. This is the same person whom two years ago didn't even know how to use the volume buttons on her phone. Now troubleshooting all on her own. Mum, I am so proud of you. You've been granted admin privileges. Hey everyone, I hope you all had a really good day and that you enjoyed that video. If you want to check out some other stories, then click on screen right now or check out the playlist down below. If you're new around here, please do hit subscribe and leave a like down below. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon.